All right, pit B, the University of South Florida, conveniently not located in South Florida today. They beat them by the score of 41-14. to 14. Is that right? I don't know. Anyways, Pitt scored 41. They scored 14. Pitt won. It was an absolutely dominant performance by Pitt. First half, I mean, next to a perfect half for Pitt. Pitt went in up ha at halftime 31-7, to 7, except for them giving up one big play on defense. I mean, they played a perfect first half. I mean, Bill Stoll completed his first 11 passes. He was he ended up ending the first half, I think, like 13 for 17. Pitt was like 6 of 7 on third downs. I mean, it's doubtful we're ever going to see them play that kind of perfect half again. I mean, it was nice. I mean, the full game really was... Um, they People have been complaining about how they haven't put four quarters together this season. I've been saying that a little bit, but not quite that way. And so, today they definitely did that. I mean, beginning of the fourth quarter, the second string came in. It's that kind of day. Um, the underrated heroes of the game, I mean, they're not underrated. I mean, everybody's getting credit for this one. The offensive line definitely for... Um, Shutting down USF's um, big two pass rushers. Bill Stoll wasn't touched all game. Huge credit to the offensive line and the um, tight ends and fullback who um, who blocked those guys. It was who blocked Selfie and um, Jason Pierre, Paul, Mike, Bill. The dude with three first names. He doesn't need that many first names in my opinion. The only thing that was disappointing was attendance. I mean, this was a big game. This was really a big game, and there couldn't have been more than 45,000 people at the game. I said it in my other video. I'm going to say it again. Fans of Big East schools don't like Big East games. They, everybody's looking forward to Notre Dame at this point. Nobody really cares about this game. They didn't care about UConn a couple weeks ago. They're not going to care about Syracuse in two weeks. They might care about Cincinnati, but that'll have that that game. Everybody thinks is going to have pretty big consequences. So, and I'm beginning to think that way very strongly too. I'll admit it. I had a really poor feeling about this game coming in. I thought Pitt was going to have all sorts of problems with the South Florida offense. I did not get the South Florida offense at all. They had one play. The quarterback. Running back, draw, option. Quarterback decides if he keeps it or the running back gets it. They run away. And Pitt had that. Pitt got had that scouted after about the first 20 times they did it. I mean, seriously. I'm sitting up there up in 500 where I was watching the game, and I'm like calling on South Florida's place. This is going to be a draw. This is going to be a draw. This is going to be a draw. And if I can call them, seriously. Again. It's kind of nice that we did. South Florida is doing what they always do, and they're having. We're not. We didn't get to see sep September South Florida, which is nice. We never really have. We only get. We got to see October South Florida, which is entirely different from September South Florida. All right. Pitt next week has the known formidable opponent by Pitts off next week. Finally, it's the first week all year we've had off. Um, team's not banged up, although I'm sure they're looking forward to a week off. It's going to be weird in Pittsburgh next weekend. Pitt has its bye. The Steelers also have their bye. So really the only game in town next weekend is going to be the Pitt basketball exhibition with Slippery Rock. I think they're playing Slippery Rock. Next Sunday. Yeah, that's the only game in town next weekend. Other than Halloween, which I don't really care. But definitely very good performance. Again, warm and fuzzies all over the place. People feeling pretty good. Next game, two weeks against Syracuse. Probably a noon kickoff. I know this because Pitt-Syracuse has been a noon kickoff every year since 1999. The game's always at noon. I can almost promise you this game will be at noon. It will be the biggest game of the week. It will be on Channel 4 in Pittsburgh. We know this. This is just how it's always been. 
I can pretty much have a feeling that's how it's going to be again. So we should beat Syracuse. Pretty handily, we should beat Syracuse. At least we have a bye week. So everybody can say all the nice things this week and they can feel good about themselves and not get their head, let the headline get to their head like I think it happens sometimes in the big football thing. All right, that's it. I'm happy. You're happy. Unless you're Jim Levitt, who's probably back in South Florida trashing his trailer. That's it. Bye-bye.